Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. According to General Hospital spoilers, a major turn of events has cleared Carly Spencer's record and prepared the audience for a love development. The incriminating tape disappeared in the episode airing on July 30, leaving the FBI with no evidence to imprison Carly. Naturally, it is clear that Carly's fortunate break is Jack Brennan's fault. Prior to this, CDL had predicted that Brennan would be the hero who ensured the evidence against Carly vanished. Now that everything is coming together on television, what will happen when Carly receives updates regarding Brennan's thoughtful act? If Brennan hadn't stepped in, Carly probably would have spent many years behind bars. Carly would never be able to express how grateful she is to Brennan for making it possible for her to be with her family and lead a happy life. But eventually, Carly ought to get an opportunity to express thanks, if only a small one. Though there was already some attraction between Brennan and Carly, once Carly discovers how much he stood up for her, things may get pretty hot. With what Brennan just done for Carly, it would be a complete waste if the GA writers didn't try to develop a love relationship between the two of them. Brennan might return to Port Charles in the near future for some reason, or Carly might meet him in Washington. In any case, maybe Carly could let passion explode with Brennan as a means of thanking him. Maybe Brennan and Carly will end up sharing a bed, because a lot of people would like to see them do so. Carly and Brennan might at least enjoy some sexy times together, even if their relationship doesn't develop into anything serious that is meant to endure. Since Brennan is a complex individual with many regrets, we're not suggesting that this will make everything better. Undoubtedly, there exist certain secrets that Carly would disapprove of if she were aware of them, such as Brennan's knowledge of Sonny Corintho's medication tampering. Nevertheless, Carly might not learn about this or other dubious facets of Brennan's personality. For Carly, the only thing that matters right now is that Brennan corrected it, saving her from a long prison sentence. That could be sufficient for Brennan and Carly to undress for a passionate meeting, so pay attention to see if any explosive information is about to surface. According to General Hospital spoilers, Carly will find a way to express her gratitude to Brennan, so stay tuned to see what happens. Here are the Thursday, August 1, 2024, General Hospital spoilers. Christina Corinthos Davis is going to be furious. Fans can expect it. Trina Robinson receives a close-up. Brooke Lynn Quartermain approaches Allison Ali Rogers, sometimes known as Blaze, with a proposal. Additionally, Molly Lansing Davis confides in Sam McCall. Discover what will happen in the upcoming episode of the ABC soap opera by continuing to read. Thursday, August 1's GA spoilers indicate that Christina is dealing with a fresh issue. The baby is unrelated to this matter because Molly made amends and made things right. Subsequently, Christina acknowledged that her goals and the depiction on film were not entirely aligned. Then Christina was waited on. At the custody court for Avery Jerome Corinthos, Ava Jerome and Sonny Corinthos have ordered Christina to testify. Sadly, Molly informed Christina that she would have to testify. Christina faces jail time if she refuses, since she would be found in contempt. Christina will talk to Sonny about her fears on Thursday, August 1. Sonny, nevertheless, asserts that he is not at all concerned. Christina is assured that Sonny won't be testifying, so she shouldn't worry. So, how precisely is Sonny going to rescue Christina from this situation? Is Christina going to disclose the whole truth? lie on the stand, or stage a perfectly timed pregnancy emergency. Christina would be relieved of her situation momentarily, but she would have to return the following day. Alexis Davis is called upon in the interim. Christina will go on the rampage elsewhere, and Sonny will lash out. Moreover, Molly will eventually confide in Sam. According to General Hospital teasers on Thursday, August 1, Brooke Lynn will present a proposal to Blaze. A sneak peek at tomorrow's episode has Lois Serolo imparting some life lessons to BLQ. If Brooke Lynn truly wants to take it on, Lois will ask, 
It appears like Brett Lynn needs to make sure she isn't overcommitted. There are already a lot of things going on in Brett Lynn. There's also a hint that Brett Lynn approaches Blaze with a proposal. It appears from the promo footage that Natalia makes an attempt to talk to Blaze. Natalia may have been preoccupied with the one statement Blaze made during the interview that perhaps with enough time, their relationship could be fixed. Natalia, too much, too soon. Natalia is told by Blaze quite furiously and bluntly that she has no idea where to go from here. In the show airing on Thursday, Trina will be exposed. Trina rushes to the Metro court pool to tell Joss and Jax. Telling Joss that she just witnessed something she wasn't allowed to see, Trina has large eyes and is terrified. She pledged to fight alongside T. Ashford after her breakup with Jordan Ashford. I'm curious if TJ knows that Molly and Christina made things right. I get a sense that TJ, not Molly or Christina, will be the one causing trouble after the baby is delivered. Since TJ has been annoying me lately, perhaps the sisters could raise the child together. Post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. Recall to watch the ABC soap opera to see what happens next. Spoilers and updates for Wednesday, July 31's episode of General Hospital Hint at Regrets, Queries and Expected Results. Carly Spencer probes, Molly Lansing Davis issues an apology, and Ava Jerome believes she will achieve her goal. After returning to Port Charles from Washington, D.C., Anna Devon speaks with Jason Morgan at the PCPD. He had just arrived from the courthouse. In addition to telling Jason that she has a debt to pay back, Anna also shares with him her theory. She discovered something startling when at the WSB office. Jack Brennan had returned to his position as director. Brennan pretended to be ignorant when she inquired about John Jagger Cates. She tells Jason a theory that might be related to her misgivings that Brennan wouldn't corroborate. When Alexis Davis arrived at the PCPD, Molly had a brief conversation with her on the documents Molly had given Christina Corinthos Davis. Molly was in Christina's house, and she was attempting to patch up the dispute she had with Christina regarding the surrogacy and the kid. After speaking with Christina as well, Alexis concluded that both of them were overanalyzing the circumstances surrounding the Perez Hilton interview. Molly genuinely apologizes to Christina, and the two of them work things out. But can their ceasefire hold? Carly shows up at the pool for the rest of Wiley Corintho's birthday celebration and sits at a table chatting with Damien Spinelli. Michael Corinthos, Jason Carly, and Diane Miller believe Spinelli had broken into the FBI system and erased the recording Kate's had of Carly. Actually, after Carly informed him about the recording, Sonny most likely called Rick a few days prior. But Spinelli would tell Carly the same thing he said to Maxie Jones when she questioned him about why he didn't remove the tape. Carly asks, if he couldn't get to it, who did? After he tells her he couldn't. Jagger has returned to Ava's apartment in the meanwhile, and she tells him she has reason to think she will get her desired result. Naturally, what she wants is to keep Avery Corinthos Jerome to herself and Sonny separate, and to refuse him any contact with her. Cates had given it his all to assist her in getting the result she wanted, and he believed he would at the courthouse, but the case was dismissed. What might happen next in their cooperative scheme to ensure that Sonny is no longer a liability Dant Falconeri is furious and tells his father, You can only push everybody so far, including me, from Sonny's penthouse. Despite his best efforts to reason with Sonny, he just won't listen. Everyone is aware of Sonny's imbalance, which appears to be growing worse. There has previously been some talk about it. Will Dante be the next loved one that Sonny alienates since he feels like everyone is against him and he is hurting over it? Before Sonny makes a decision that he would later regret, something needs to be done. Make sure you read up on all that Guille has been up to lately. For news, updates, and spoilers about General Hospital, check back here frequently. So, what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.